G'day guys, welcome to a new episode. Today I'm with Bray from All Things Ocean and we're gonna go for a dive. He's down from Canberra and it is a bit swelly, it's a bit windy, but it looks clear. We flew the drone early and I'll play back a bit of that footage now. But yeah, we did a biz check with the drone. We thought it was a great idea. And we flew out there and it looked clear enough to dive. So we're gonna head along the reef and just hopefully get some fish. It's a perfect day for it, so I'm not complaining, but hopefully we can get in there, get some fish, have a good time. Phew. See you out there. As you saw in those videos, it looks pretty clear from the drone. So we're gonna head out, suit up, and yeah, we're just hoping that it's good. If it is a bit murky anyway, but there should still be reef species and species on the sand that we should be able to pick up. Whiting maybe, drummer, who knows, but there's definitely be fish out there. I've dived here before. Most times I've dived here, it's been pretty fishy. The only thing is today the swell, but yeah, there's definitely enough reef and enough sand to dive that should be holding some fish. So I'll see you in the water. What you thinking? I'm so happy. Just got in from a successful quick little dive. It wasn't that long. Got out there, it was a bit of swell. It was a bit hard to actually hold on to the fish. We started burling up. We saw a few snapper come in, a few sizey ones, but once we got down there, they're a smart fish. We just couldn't end up getting them. But I started the dive off with a nice little brim and then got a second bigger brim in a different school. They're good eating. They're very good eating. Fill up them or cook them whole. They have really white flesh. They're really nice. 
<laughs> no. It's called a grass brim. <laughs> <laughs> grass whitey. Yeah, they're really good at... Yeah, I'm going to have to watch that. But they are really good eating. Then I was swimming back in with Bray and I stumbled upon this big goatee. He was sleeping. The colours on these guys are amazing. They've got the black spot. That's why they call the black spot goatfish. In the water, they just light up in the sunlight. But he was sleeping. I spooked him. He woke up. He swam away. I chased him for a little bit. Didn't get too close to him. Didn't make eye contact. And he went back into his hole, started sleeping again. And I pounced on him. The shot did tear a lot. But these guys are beautiful eating. That's actually my PB by far. That's a solid goatfish. They don't get probably much bigger than that. But I'm really happy with that. See what Bray got. As Harry said, it was a pretty eventful dive. There's lots of um, sea life out there. We saw plenty of stingrays. I filmed a little flounder straight up as we jumped in. A few whiting in the shallows. They were just a bit too elusive today. On the way back in, I managed to get this nice, uh, I think it's a black brim, black or yellow, yellow brim, but I'm pretty stoked with this one. It's a nice size brim and it should come up nice um, when, we, when we cook it up. But yeah, all in all, it was a great dive. Um, the conditions held out for us, which was great. Bit swelly, bit of wind, but yeah, we made the most of it and we had a good day. So Bray and I are down at the boat ramp, we just cleaned our fish. This was the second brim I got. See, this guy came off the sand and he was just so much shinier than the one that came off the reef. They must just adapt to where their habitat is and this guy's on the sand, he needs a lighter colour. It's crazy to see the colours. So I'm going to do a catch and cook clean episode today. No, catch, clean, cook episode. And I'm going to cook this guy whole. I don't tend to cook many fish whole because I prefer to fill it and I just reckon it's nicer. But this guy, he's not a huge specimen. Let's see, it's about 35. 34, 35 centimetres. It'd be a pretty old fish, brim go really slow, so he's probably 10 to 15 years old. But yeah, we'll, we'll scale him, gut him, and then cook him whole. The best thing about cooking fish whole is you don't lose any meat. You get all the meat around the wings, the cheek meat, and yeah, it's just a lot kind of better for you if you eat it. You don't waste anything of the fish. When you fillet it, you, you lose a fair bit of fish, but it is a lot easier to eat them when you just fillet it. To gut him, you just go straight up from the butthole. Up the sphincter. <laughs> you just cut straight up until you get to the gills. And then you can open it up. You don't want to eat the guts. All the guts are in there. This guy doesn't have many. He's got the stomach, the, the heart's in there as well. And also the gills. You don't eat the gills. You can crack this open. Most competitions, fishing competitions, you have to gut and gill them because some people put sinkers in the stomachs. And when you gut and gill them, they can't do that. Try to always wash your fish with salt water. You don't want to wash a freshwater fish with salt water or a saltwater fish with fresh water. So if you can, you can't always, but if you can, wash it with that same type of water. So he's ready to cook up. You can add lemon into the into there. That'll be one delicious brim. Back down at the mud flats, favorite place to cook up food, you know that. And I'm gonna cook the goatfish and the brim. I've decided to cook both of them. I actually took one half of the fillets off each side to have tonight, because I didn't think I'd be able to eat that much. We're gonna have half the goatfish and half the brim. They're both clean, they're both still whole, apart from the fillet taken off. And I'm gonna basically compare them, which one I like more, what are the differences. I just wanna, at the same time, do the same thing to them and just see which one I like better. And I'm going to do it on an open fire, which I haven't done in a while. So I'm just going to go up there, get some sticks, get some branches, and we'll start making it. It is a bit damp, but I think we'll be right once the heat gets going. It won't matter that it's a bit damp. So let's get what we need.
So I've got some sticks. I'm going to start the fire and go get some bigger sticks. But I'm just going to start it now to get it going because we need the coals to cook these fish whole. Got my trusty fire starter. So it is a bit damp, so I might take a little bit. Come on, come on, you can do it. <laughs> oh no, not looking very good. Finally, after half an hour, <laughs> it took so long. It's because it's so damp. It just took so long to get it started. Like, I'm not even confident about this, but I'm gonna have to hope that it lights itself. So what I'm gonna do is just let this fire go down, burn itself into hot coals instead of the flame. And then I'm gonna cook the fish on the hot coals and it won't burn what I'm gonna do basically. The fire's burning next to me, I'm going to get the fish ready. So if you didn't know what I meant about taking half the fillet off, this is what I meant. So this is the brim. So I fill it to that and I'll eat that tonight or tomorrow, whenever. And then today I'm gonna to eat this side. You can see I got it and gilled it. It's not dirty in there and he's ready to go. So we'll do the brim first. What I'm gonna do just cut some slits through the brim. Get some herb and garlic or whatever you want to use, lemon, pepper, just a few herbs and spices. And then lemon. Key ingredient, more important than the fish. Just put it on top. That means the lemon will soak into the fish, into the slits. So that's what it'll look like. So just get some foil. Should have thought about this. As if I didn't put the foil down first. Come here, fishy, fishy. Ugh. Get a fair bit of foil. And wrap it up. And that will just go on the hot coals. Same thing for the goat fish. Oh, they shouldn't actually take that long because there's a fair bit of heat. Just give it maybe 10 minutes first, check it, see what it's like, and then go from there. The time has come to get them off the fire. It's gonna be hot. Oh, almost lost that. Oh, wow. Wow. That looks amazing. Oh my god, that looks genuinely <laughs> hands down one of the best things ever. I'm gonna try the brim first because it's been off the fire longer and be it not as hot. Look at that. Wow. Okay, now I'm glad I took one fillet off because I would not be able to eat all this. Straight into it. That is melt in your mouth. <laughs> Oh my god, look how easy it's coming off the bone. That is genuinely melting in my mouth. Wow. Try it 
try the goat fish quickly. Still gonna be pretty damn hot, but I wanna know which one I like more. Cause they're both beautiful fish. Both these fish are hands down so nice. But if I had to pick one, which I do, probably say the goat fish. It's just got a, I don't know, it's firmer meat, which is really nice. They're both, they're both 10 out of 10, but you know, I think the goat fish just tops it a little bit because the meat's a lot firmer and it's a bit tastier. Just a tab. That is so nice. There's actually an eagle up there circling because what they do, they see the smoke and they think there's a fire. And when there's a fire, all the animals are running away from the fire. So say there was a fire there, you get rabbits and stuff running out here. And that's when the eagle can come and get one. So he thinks there's a fire, so he's looking for animals. Looking back, I'm surprised they even got this going. It was so damp. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I've left it as much possible as I can how I found it. Got my rubbish in the bag and I'll see you next time. Phew. Did it twice, dickhead.